Malcolm Sidney wasn't any ordinary dog. For one thing, he had a movie star for a mistress. Sylvia Sidney was the quintessential sad and soulful heroine of 1930s film. When she died in 1999, she bequeathed her beloved Malcolm, accompanied by a collection of hundreds of pug figurines, to friend Alden James, president of New York's exclusive National Arts Club. Founded in 1898, the National Arts Club overlooks picturesque Gramercy Park, the only remaining private park in New York. A key to Gramercy Park, is one of the city's ultimate symbols of gracious living. The Arts Club was the first private club in Manhattan to admit women, and today the distinguished membership curates and participates in hundreds of art and social events each year in its 40-room Gothic mansion. Washington Irving High School is just around the corner from the National Arts Club, the very same high school Sylvia Sidney left in 1925 at the age of 15, determined to become an actress. Her first Broadway review was a rave, and by 1931 she had gotten her big break, replacing an ailing Clara Bow in city streets. 40 films and more than 100 stage plays later, she was working right through in the 1990s. Toward the end of her life, tongue in cheek for Tim Burton in Beetlejuice and Mars Attacks. During the slow times in her acting career, she became a needlework expert and author, and, back to Malcolm, a breeder of champion pugs. It is even said, it was Miss Sidney who first introduced the Duchess of Windsor to the breed. Miss Sidney's extensive pug collection helped Malcolm feel at home, and he soon ruled the roost, so to speak. Mr. James took great pleasure in showing Malcolm around the club, and soon the privileged cooch was making friends with a steady stream of members, guests and staff. Malcolm was a fixture at the club's reception desk. 
and had turned into a real party animal, attending both casual and black tie evenings. Malcolm preferred the fancy events, black tie being his natural mode of attire. before Malcolm was hobnobbing with art world icons like Yoko, Christo, Nam June, and after a short while, he had so many famous friends that the inevitable happened and Malcolm became a celebrity himself. little, well not so little, dog had a magical effect on those lucky enough to share his world. Malcolm was the soul of unconditional love and trust. express his legacy better than did Sylvia Sidney herself in one of her needlepoint treasures on display at the club, quoting St. Mathilde's prayer. O oh God, give unto me by grace that obedience that thou hast given to my little dog by nature. 